Hey, psst, want to hear something not cool? You know there's about a 35% chance you'll go bald. And maybe it will start at 21. If your dad or grandfather's bald, the probability increases to 80%. Males produce a lot of testosterone, and their hair reacts to it incorrectly. Sorry if this is bad news for you. There'll be good ones too, I promise. Remember that Adam guy? When he bit off the forbidden apple, the piece stuck in his throat. You know that, right? So, Adam's apple helps you make your voice rougher and stronger, you know? It's especially noticeable during puberty. Testosterone levels are rising, the Adam's apple is increasing in size, your voice is becoming more powerful and deeper. Not enough to perform an opera, but enough to scream like a mad orc. If you wake up and find that your voice has changed, congratulations, you're growing up. If the voice has become completely different and you start talking in an unknown ancient language, dude, call an exorcist. You realize that you're incredible and awesome at the moment when you notice these little mustache hairs on your upper lip. Yeah, they're small and transparent, but this is only the beginning. Ah, uh, peach fuzz. The beginning of brutal facial hair, like Conan the Barbarian, but hair. Wait, there's hair in your armpits too, and even little ones on the chest. Dude, you're covered in hair. Oh, stop. It's cool, isn't it? I don't know, bro. Nature kind of gives you a big dose of testosterone and hormones and androgens. Males have more of these hormones than females. Anyway, dude, all this hair isn't a problem at all. But if you lived a couple million years ago, oh, bro, at that time, there was much more hair on your body. A lot more. Can you imagine how many people survived every summer? All this hair was like a fur coat. No one could cut it since barbershops and razors didn't exist. There were no air conditioners and they had to run after mammoths every day. It was excruciating but epic, but not as epic as your little mustache, bro. Gym, football, basketball, running. You turn your body into a machine, dude. Come on, just do it. Yeah! Even if not, your body automatically becomes more powerful. You know, thank puberty for this. Yesterday, you were weak, but now you have a superpower. Your muscles and bones transform and become invulnerable. You know what's next? You'll lift a car with your hands and destroy walls with one blow. Kidding. You'll be able to open that pickle jar no problem, which is also an outstanding achievement. No, seriously, the strength is real, like G.I. Joe Kung Fu grip. You can easily win a fight against the six months ago version of yourself, so don't forget one important thing, man. With great power comes great fun. <laughs> Excuse me, but have you seen a chemical processing plant? Oh, here it is in your armpits. Special glands secrete a special chemical smell, and your armpit hairs enhance it. Yeah, man, it's like a fingerprint. Each person has their own unique ones. Know what the coolest thing is? These smells can attract other people. It's like pheromones. No, no, dude, don't even think about it. You need to wash yourself anyway. The smell of sweat doesn't attract anyone. I'm talking about the natural odor. Although it would be funny if people recognized each other as animals. Just check it out. You come to a new school, and all the new guys start sniffing you. And you're like, nice to meet you, my name is... And they're like, say no more, we know everything about you, Freddy. Yeah, in such a world, social odor networks would have been invented. Someone posts a new photo, and you feel a terrible smell of sweat. And you're like, dude, why haven't you used a filter? Male skin is 25% thicker and rougher than females, thanks to the increased amount of testosterone. Yeah, it sounds kind of cool, but it's pointless, dude. You can accidentally scratch yourself with paper. Seriously, remember that. But never try. It's awful. If your skin was like a rhino's, it would be cooler, I guess. No, it's terrible. I think rhinos suffer from thick skin. They're also aggressive and dangerous. But I'm sure they're gentle and sensitive animals at heart soft skin would be much more suitable for them than people. Imagine rhinos with moisturized and smooth skin taking care of their horns in a nail salon. Yeah, that's weird.